All right, so recently I've been getting comments, but comments with a twist. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So here in front of me, in my comments page, I have comments. Of course, they're on YouTube. A lot of these comments have the following content. Profile pictures of probably hacked accounts with the Instagram handle of a hacker who is promoting his or her service to hack into any account that you want to get into. Now, I get a lot of these, especially when I post a new video. I want to cover what's going on, right? Are they trying to scam me or are they trying to actually legitimately uh, hack an account on my behalf through payment. My guess is this is just a simple scam, trying to scam anyone who's desperate for getting into their fiance, girlfriend, boyfriend's accounts. Let's go ahead, try to uncover what's going on. And do they actually work? I highly doubt that. All right, so my first step was to go ahead and contact the following handles on Instagram. Now, I went ahead and targeted two spam comments. One was titled Freak Genius and the other was hashtag moving cyber. So I looked these guys up on Instagram and I encountered my first problem. There were several, I mean, many different types of freak geniuses and moving cyber accounts. I decided to go ahead and target two random accounts with the username and handles. As I was analyzing their Instagram pages, I found some very interesting findings about each profile. A lot of these are just using stock photos. This guy's learning how to do introduction to object oriented wow. programming. I'm just saying, if you're gonna make this scam work, which I'm not saying don't ever make a scam work, why are you putting up multiple photos of different people? That just makes you already look obvious. In addition, you have to have, you know, Kali Linux up with the good old hacking wireless here to show you're so cool with a Linux terminal. I mean, this stuff is just, you know, really ridiculous at this point. I want to see how much this person is charging to hack an uh, Instagram account or hack whatever. My next step was to go ahead and get in contact with each of these supposedly hackers. So I went ahead and went to their Instagram bios and they had a WhatsApp number to contact them in. I had to go ahead and set up a new WhatsApp account and I created an isolated virtual machine with the WhatsApp desktop application. I initiated two chats, one with Freak Genius, the other with Moving Cyber to see if they could hack into my account and respond in a promptly time. So I've been having a quick chat with this 540 number uh, and as you can see, we're chatting about uh, hacking into an Instagram account. So what I'm gonna do is quickly set up a brand new Instagram account because he's asking for the username and see what happens here. I went ahead and set up a new Instagram account and found a random profile picture generator got a person on there on the profile picture and I was going to use this Instagram account for both hackers if they needed the Instagram. Alrighty, so as you can see, we set up an Instagram account, Richard D. Buda. We're spreading the name, getting the name out there, even in the Instagram handles. Now the next thing I want to do is try to get this, to fool this guy into giving me his IP address. All right, so what are you gonna do with the public IP address? Not much, maybe find their general location, but hey, you know, try to freak them out a little bit with the knowledge, I know. Really, I just wanted to see if they would actually click on these stupid malicious links. So I went ahead and used a popular service called Gravify to go ahead and create a malicious link, which would have a tracking code, and I embedded it with PayPal.com to say, hey, is this where I need to use to pay you? While conducting this process, hacker number two reached out to me. So now I had actively two people who could Instagram hack my Richard D. Buddha account. Please click on it. <laughs> All right, well, I got his IP address, and I know exactly what he's using. He's using Mozilla to access this web page. So, yes. All right, after celebrating, I had a little bit of work to do. I had to figure out if I could get this hacker to reveal his secret hacking techniques, something that maybe I could learn myself. But, you know, as it goes with scams, that didn't really happen. In fact, all he did was pester me about paying through PayPal, friends, and family. A typical scammer technique where you can't initiate a refund because it's not a business transaction option in PayPal. My next step was to create a fraudulent transaction receipt through the expert hacking technique of right click, inspect element, and change the HTML text. That's a joke, by the way. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and created the transaction details. He's looking for that. In my little ship too, I have Goldfish Lane because that is my favorite goldfish snack. So now let's go ahead and see uh, what he does after I send this 
transaction to him. All right, so what's going on with Hacker 2? Yeah, he's just doing the same exact thing, the same goods and services, give me your $100 and I'll do X, Y, and Z. Except this time, he's going to advertise a decryption tool that I can buy for a certain amount of money and it will intercept the text and decrypt my information. Wow, that just sounds so sophisticated. So actually, after going through Hacker 2, yeah, he's not really doing much. Hacker 1 started to catch on a little bit with him wasting time. And this is where I thought, well, I think it's time to start giving this guy some details about what he's, you know, claiming to do. I have his IP address. <laughs> Me gloating about some stupid IP address, fine, my god. He is from Nigeria, so now I have his public IP. I'm seeing what he's viewing. It looks like he's viewing from an iPhone. All right, so my plan for Hacker One, since he was getting really impatient, was just go ahead and give him the IP address that I found. And, you know, he's from Nigeria and all the information that Grabify provides you. And yeah, that was about it. But I actually had a pleasant surprise, a, a nice little message. All right, so the hacker actually sent me an audio file because he's pretty upset that, you know, I just got his public information through clicking a malicious link. Or maybe it was because he didn't scam me. Let's go ahead and listen to what this guy has to say. Now, I can't do it through my VM, so I just went ahead and sent it to myself. Let's see here. <laughs> ah, yes. So, just the typical FU, you, you know, just pretty angry. I think to end this chat, we should just go ahead and give him the signature you know, nice gesture of and see what happens. He took it as saying one word. As for Hacker2, he was doing the same exact thing, just going through the procedure of trying to scam me. And when I started to get a little bit impatient, I just went ahead and revealed his public information. And he decided to give me a call because he needs his decryption tool to work, right? All right, so Hacker1 is calling me. Hey. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, good. What are you talking about? I'm from U.S. Texas, okay? Oh. I'm a certified professional hacker. You're a professional ethical hacker? Yeah, like what kind of tools do you use? Like you're an ethical hacker, don't you have like sp special tools you use or something? Because my script kitty self was thinking, ah, he's gonna use Metasploit or some sort of cool Kali Linux tool. Oh, awesome, man. I can't wait uh, for you to hack. So, I'm looking for you to hack into a place. Um, but before, before I give you an account name, I know you're in Nigeria, Lagos, so where, where should I send I'm, the money? I'm, 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 a, I'm a black American, okay? I'm from U.S. Texas. No, I don't really, I think you're in Nigeria, Lagos, so where do you want me to send the money? It says you're from Nigeria, Lagos, from IP address. Hold on, let me get to a new paper address. You know, this company access services. We have a lot of people to receive payments. You have absolutely nothing to worry about that. So it's a network problem. Yeah, I'm going to get to a Gotcha. All right, cool. I'll, I'll go ahead and send you my PayPal address. Well, that is why you probably shouldn't click on malicious links. Well, that was it. After the hacker ended the voice call, it was time to end the experiment. I sent him the Deep Buddha sound clip and called it a day. Well, where were the lessons learned in this experiment? Don't trust nor use any of those Facebook comments, Instagram profile hacking accounts. It's all a scam and they're just asking you for money and they'll run some random decryption tool. Yeah, that's not really true. Yeah, that was really my experiment. And hopefully they learned that they can get debudad. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you have, please consider leaving a like. And until the next time, keep using those inner script kitty powers. Oh my gosh, that's cringe.